Ready for the start of the fourth quarter here. All Utah State right now. 33-13 and threatening again at the 40-yard line of Idaho State. Aggies have rolled up 314 yards of total offense and add to it here with Natson around the edge. Penalty marker comes in as he dances down the sideline close to the 20. Well, this one might be coming back. Might be on Kevin Wimpy. Offense, number 74. 10-yard penalty. Still third down. I was just getting ready to say what a great job Kevin Wimpy did getting out there to the outside, sealing off that edge. Watch him right here. I mean, that, that is textbook right there as far as running goes, staying with his block, but right there at the very end, a little bit of a tug. Oh, yeah. You know, if he's run that far, he weighs 295 pounds. They should give that to him. Give him a little bit of credit. I mean, no come doubt. on. You know, having to make the guy run out there. That's kind of effort that you like to see in the fourth quarter, though, from your senior leader on that offensive line. He's a good-looking left tackle, isn't he? Third down now. Third and 17. Idaho State. In chase of Keaton as he moves that pocket to the left. He just dumps it off. Tell you what, you talk about big fellas moving. How about Tyler Cutter there at 305? Chasing that quarterback down. Chasing down Chucky Keaton. Still playing hard in the fourth quarter. And again, that's what Mike Kramer's hoping to see out of his Bengals. Well, he loved Tyler Cutter, did Mike Kramer when we talked to him. I think that ball went past the line of scrimmage there, yeah, Brian. Yeah, penalty marker. Quarterback was out of the pocket, but the ball did not make the line of scrimmage. Awfully close. So loss of down at the spot of the foul. Fourth down. Moves back to the 45-yard line now. Are you Utah. talking about... We've got, talk about this Utah State program and, and how far they've come here over the last couple of years and the number of guys in the pros and a guy like Kevin Wimpy, 6'5", oh, yeah. 295. This guy can put on another 10, 15 pounds. You'll see him playing on Sunday. Bentrude to punt it away. Burmeister under it slides down to the 13-yard line. And now 14-17 to go. It's a 20-point ball game. Let's see if this Idaho State offense has any life left in them. Yeah. We'll get a chance to see what Justin Arias has left. Coming back next. Fourteen seventeen to play. Utah State leading it here on Idaho State. 33-13 right now. As the Bengals take over at the 14-yard line, their own 14. Justin Arias, the quarterback. I tell you, he's a tough cookie, Ted. He's taking some shots still out there. Three receivers to the right. Here's Arias looking left. Pumps, looks. Here's the wheel route. Left-hand side. Finney out of the backfield. Too much on it. They've gone to Mangum quite a few times there early in the third quarter. Mangum had stepped up, made some big plays. Pump to Mangum, trying to catch the wheel right coming out of the backfield. And again, just putting too much air on it. Not been able to drop that pass down on his receivers all night long. Second and ten. Areas, hands off Finney, all kinds of running room. Across the 25 he goes, gets the first down near the 30-yard line. Nicely designed play. Boy, they really had him sealed off on that left side. Good read by Arias to give the ball. Finney had all kinds of running room. Arias is thrown for 232 yards on the night. 19 of 42, but three interceptions have been costly. Here on first and 10, looking right, throws it underneath, and it's dropped that time. Brock Malcolm couldn't hang on. That one had some heat on it, too. It did, and, and he suffered through that a little bit tonight. His receivers at times have let it down, I think. He's put the ball on him, giving him an opportunity to catch it and still make a play afterwards. Uh, and the guys are just looking upfield, losing concentration. A couple of the intercepts, that one interception there, the last one, went back for a score, was a 
It was a drop ball. Second and ten now. From his own 30, Arias hands it off and nothing there from McSurdy. They've actually lost a couple on the play. Back to the 26 yard line. It'll be a loss of four. Nice job by Jordan Nielsen there with the penetration and the tackle for the loss. Good quickness off that edge. Sniffed it out on the inside. That's what I like to see in young in defensive linemen that initial penetration and the ability to change direction and finish off the play. Nielsen, the Lewiston, Utah product. All state are out of Skyview High School. Here's Arias now. Big third down at 13 for Arias. Slides back, fires left, scooted that one to KW Williams at the 35 yard line. He'll come up short of the first down. Yeah, nice job by Williams going down to dig this one out, scoop yep. it up. Five yards short of the first down marker, but still a nice throw. Williams is going to be a big receiver for this group. Someone needed to step up in that core tonight, and it looks like it's been KW Williams. A good spot for a fake here, fourth and five. You're on at 35. They roll out Reyes. Punt will roll inside the 30, down at about the 26 yard line. You're down by 20 with 12 28 to play. Thought you might see a little something there. They've played it conservatively tonight when it comes to that. There have been a couple of opportunities, I think, to really allow some of the kids to step up, make a play, show some confidence in their ability to convert. And the coaching staff has chosen to, to punt or to go for the field goal. And it's opportunities like that, I think, that do build that, that bond between the coaching staff and the team. That, hey, we've got confidence that you're going to be able to, to convert here. First and 10 now, 12-28 to play in this fourth quarter, up 33-13. to 13. Keaton remains out there at quarterback. The handoff up to the 29-yard line here. That was Joe Hill. Idaho State defensive front continues to fight. The Utah State leaning on them there right now. Saw Pretty good penetration, but they were holding their point. Nobody on skates right now. Still fighting it. Second down and nine. Dumps it underneath this time. Not much doing for Natson. Rolling backwards to the 25 yard line. He'll lose four on the play. Two good plays in a row by the Bengal defense. Yes. Again, the kids aren't quit playing hard. You're seeing people flow to the football. Defensive line is holding. Holding its own here, third and long. Third down at 12. Chucky Keaton. Pressured up the middle. Tries to bounce it outside. He's got work to do to get that first down marker. Needs a block, but we'll get to the 35, and that's about all. Again, Idaho State only bringing four defensive linemen, but able to create some penetration in there. That penetration came right up the middle, too. Tyler Cooter had an arm bar on somebody. Just really was able to push it, walk his man right back. Fourth down, and now the Aggies forced to punt here with 10.35 to go. Leading Idaho State 33-13. to 13. Bentrude gets that rugby roll inside the 20, and that's where they'll spot it down. So now Idaho State again. We'll trot back out there, trailing by 20 here tonight in Logan, Utah. 10-15 left in this one. You're watching the Mountain West Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Thirty-three, thirteen. Utah State leading it here over Idaho State. Hey, forget waiting and waiting to watch the highlights from around the Mountain West Conference and around the college football world. 
you want to see the best plays of the day on your own time, check out the Saturday Blitz for free only on CampusInsiders.com. First and 10 here, Idaho State starts his drive for the 20. And they'll give it to Xavier Fetty up the middle. He'll get a couple. Nice job by B.J. Larson right there. Great play down the line of scrimmage from his right end spot. These Utah State football players on the defensive side are explosive guys. Second down and eight. Arias firing it out, and that's a should be a flag, and it is. The receiver was bumped. K.W. Williams, the intended target. Before the ball got there, Brian Sweet was in coverage. Coming over the top at safety. Joining him out there was Brian Hayes. Yes, yeah, we just mistimed this a little bit. Coming over to support his corner. Tries to go up and knock the ball away. Nice aggressive play, though, and I like, again, I like what his thought process was there. It's nice to know as a corner when you're out there by yourself that if you've got help over the top, that that, that, that guy's going to be there. And Sweet was right there just a little bit too soon. So break here. For Idaho State. I've seen that explosiveness in the secondary as well tonight. The guys break it back on the football, making plays at the point. They've really, this Utah State secondary has really got a neck and an instinct for getting themselves and putting themselves in position to make a play, not only on the receiver, but on the ball. So they'll spot it forward at the 32-yard line now. First and ten here for Arias. From his 37, hands it off, running up the middle, fitting. Good hard running here to the fourth quarter, the gain of nine there. Bengals catch the Aggies in a blitz right there. They were bringing the heat. Second down and one. Busted play here. Arias throws it out. Again, it's dropped by Malcolm. And Arias took a shot at the end. And I mean a shot from Travis Seafield. Personal foul. Roughing the passer, number 39 defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Torrey Green was there also. Check this shot out that he takes. There's Seafelt low, and then boom. Yeah, they high loading there. Yeah. That's definitely a penalty. Finney ran the wrong direction right there, kind of threw the play off kilter. Arias wasn't sure what to do. First and ten. And up ended is Finney. Behind the line of scrimmage. That's Brian Hayes, the DB, who was coming in a hurry. Well, they are attacking that line of scrimmage on rundowns right now. And again, this is how the Aggies have made their living on defense over the past couple of seasons. When you think of Utah State defense, you think of pressure and their ability to make things happen by really putting a force on their opponent. Second down and 11. Blitz comes. Arias doesn't get rid of it in time, and he goes down. He had a man open in the flat right. That was Finney out of the backfield. But Utah State brought the heat there, and... Devin Centers gets credit for it. Yeah, and there's nobody there to pick him up. So really, I mean, that's Aris's guy. He's got to see that blitz coming and get rid of it quicker, and he just can't do it. Finney's dropping off into the flat. Normally, he would step up in the hole, pick up that blitz. Third down then. Third and 19 for Idaho State. Screen. Read perfectly. Aaron Pryor goes down in a heap. 
And again, it was Torrey Green. He's had a great night today. He really has. I mean, this is one aggressive football player right here. When he comes and hits you, I mean, he brings the wood. The crowd has really gotten behind this defense, and you can feel their energy just pick up. Fourth and 21. There's that line drive rugby kick again, looking for the corner. And this time it's going to roll to the end zone for C.J. Reyes. Brian, he's rolling to his right. He kicks the ball and it goes to his <laughs> left. I mean, how's his coverage team supposed to I know. Go? I don't get it. I think that's what Mike Kramer is talking to him about right now as he walks off the field. 7-17 to play now. Utah State leading at 33-13 over Idaho State tonight here on the Mountain West Network, powered by Campus Insiders. 20-point lead here for Utah State over Idaho State as they start this drive to the Aggies at the 20-yard line. With this lead. And Chucky Keaton remains out there. 7-17 left. Dumps it underneath and a nice grab there by the tight end Jefferson Court. Will move the chains as he makes it up to the 30-yard line. Nice little play action pass right there and a roll right. What I liked about it was the quick release. I mean, Keaton got that ball out of his hands really, really quickly. Right on the numbers to his receiver. Surprise you at all that Chucky Keaton's still out there? Seven minutes bit. to go? Yeah, yeah, a little bit right now. Handoff here, running left hand side, Rashad Hall. And again, not so much to protect Chucky Keaton, Brian, to be yeah. honest with you, but to get, you know, to get your number two a little bit of work because you never know what's going to happen down the road. Right. And certainly we want to see a healthy Chucky Keaton throughout the entire season. But you've got a plan for these things. Second down and seven. Here's Keaton in traffic. Here's the tight end, Wyatt Houston, with a big grab. Keaton doing a good job in a short passing game right now. Working into the running back, tight end. First and 10 of the 43. Handed off this time to Rashad Hall, spinning and working his way for nine. Boy, I like that Rashad Hall second effort. I mean, he has got a great feel of spinning out of the tackle and keeping his momentum moving forward. That's a lot more difficult than people, I think, realize. That, be, that ability to use that defender as a post, spin out of that tackle, and continue moving forward, keeping your balance. Second and one, you got a down to play with here if you're Kevin McGibbon, but he'll keep it on the ground. Running Rashad Hall, good, strong running there for the junior out of Lynchburg, Virginia. A long way from Lynchburg, Virginia to Logan, Utah. By way of Oak Ridge Military. 6'1", 200 pounds, running like a big back. Yes. First down now, the 41-yard line of Idaho State. 5.15 to go in this one. Keaton going to run the option. Here comes the reverse. They've got Natson with room. Inside the 30. Inside the 20. And Natson, a penalty marker, comes in. He scores, but let's see if this play will stand. From 41 yards out, Jojo Natson. Now the reverse. But it might be Holy. coming back. Offense, number 84. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Play results in a first down. And if you're DeMond Patterson, you're, you want to climb in a shell right now. The wide receiver blocking on the edge. Yeah, JoJo Natson points him out to Patterson. But what, watch Natson here. I mean, we saw him on the punt return, and once again, he's in the open field, and this is a speedy, speedy receiver. He points out the block, sets it up, and again, Patterson just holds on a little bit too long. You think JoJo knew it? Oh. Oh. Why you do that to me? 
<laughs> That's I a lot of effort for I them. don't blame them. <laughs> Spotted at the 22 now. 457 to work with. 33-13, Utah State out in front. Take the inside give with time. Thompson underneath. It is caught here at the 15-yard line by Ronald Butler. That'll go for a game of seven. I'll tell you what, that's the first time tonight really where I saw Chucky Keaton go through his progressions, look downfield one, two, and then find his crossing route at number three. Great job of working that particular play. Second and three. Hand off here inside the 10, about the nine goes Lawan Hunt. That'll move the chains again. And this Idaho State defense is tired. They've been out on the field a lot tonight. You see guys with their hands on their hips. First and goal now. At the nine. Keaton pulls it out. He'll run it himself and walk in and score. That's why Chucky Keaton's still out there. 403 left, finds the end zone. And it's 39 13 now, Utah State. But there is a penalty marker now. Let's see. I think this is going to be for the celebration. I if we got another celebration penalty. After the score, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 16, excessive celebration. That 15 yard penalty will be assessed. On the kickoff. Now, Ted, you played at Air Force. <laughs> and, and I know you guys just hand it to the official after you score, right? Right. But you spent some time in the league, obviously, as GM of the Denver Broncos. Are, are we getting a little iffy on this? Yeah, I think so. I really do. I mean, if 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 you know what goes in to the emotion of playing a football game and everything that Chucky Keaton's had to go through just to get back to this point. Right. Let him celebrate. Yeah. Here's Diaz to make it a 40-point night tonight. For Utah State and he does all right let's take a look at this I, I just want to see if we we're taking this a little too far now and taking the celebration out of it. here's Keaton nice job pulling the football down right okay okay oh. now, what is that what is that he was, he, uh, I know. Park, 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 park the waters. waters. He's talking about his offensive line. There you go. Was he did all hard. Yes. They did their part. I slid right in. And they got the penalty. Well, they got the touchdown, too. And it's 40 to 13 now. Well, there are parts of the game tonight that I think show me that Chucky Keaton is back. And certainly there are some things that I think that Matt Wells and the offensive staff are going to want to work on. They'll continue working on it. But certainly the confidence and the ability to tuck that ball down, the big play that he made on third down to convert uh, the first down on the touchdown drive right before halftime. And then this run down here, a couple other runs, I think that wheel's feeling pretty good. And you've got to believe that's why they've kept him in to the four-minute mark of the fourth quarter. To, hey, it, he, he continues to get more and more comfortable on it. Yeah, and he, and, he, and he looks it looks like, you know, physically he's in good shape. I mean, he's been out there quite a bit. We've talked about how much Idaho State's been on the field as a defense, but that Utah State offense has been out there, and he's taking just about every snap. So Penalty assessed on the kickoff, so they'll kick it off on the 20. Well, Ben Troop. Got under that one a bit. Take it by an up, back, and down to the 33 yard line. You know, if you're Utah State, you know your test next week against Wake Forest is going to be much more difficult. So, any work that Keaton could get here tonight, you hope pays off next week because he, he's going to need to play four quarters next week. Yeah, I think so. And I, and I like the way they've executed the running game. You can't expect to go up against an ACC team and be able just to throw it all over the field. That offensive line established itself tonight in a big way. Defense has played with a lot of passion this uh, second half. Arias off his back foot, completes it here to KW Williams for a first down up to the 48-yard line. 
By the way, Wake Forest in town next week for a matchup against Utah State. First ever ACC opponent to come into Romney Stadium. I'm anxious to see how that one goes. Yes. I th I've, I've seen this Aggie team grow tonight from the first quarter to the fourth quarter. First and ten. Areas in the pocket. Slides across midfield of the 46 yard line. You know, you look at a guy like look at a guy like Jojo Natson and his ability in the open field. You look what this offensive line has been able to do. I think they'll be able to like, stay in toe to toe with Wake. You got Wake Forest and then Arkansas State. You've got a it's a tough trip to Jonesboro. And then at BYU, the short trip over to Provo. BYU, by the way, rolling over Texas tonight. Second and five play action Arius in the seam and it's caught here by Pryor up to the 32 BYU by the way leading Texas 41-7 So that's a final now and that's October 3 Utah State up in the Pro Bowl then you're in a Mountain West play Air Force Colorado State UNLV at Hawaii at Wyoming. That's two toughies back to back. Just, yeah. just two tough road trips. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, taking that trip all the way out there to Hawaii, that'll wear you out. One of the things I think that Norm Chow is trying to do with this version of the Rainbow Wars is reestablish that home field advantage. And they played Washington really yes, tough they last did. week. And then nobody ever likes to go up to Laramie. I, I, I'm, no. just, I'm just telling you, that is the hardest place to play. It is Especially difficult. that time of year with the wind and the way it could be. You yep. never know. Second and 10 now at the 48-yard line. Arias out of the gun, pumps and looks deep left. Has K.W. Williams behind the defense. Down to the 10-yard line, and K.W. Williams will score here with 235 to play. Well, this Idaho State team still plugging away. Looked like a little bit of a mix up here on the coverage. KW Williams basically wide open. Got away from the corner there. And Williams has really established himself tonight as the yep. go to guy for that Bengal offense. Here's Zach Johnson now with the point after. Halves the lead here. 235 to go. And it's a 40 to 20 game now. We knew there was a good offensive line over there for Idaho State, but it was who was going to step up in that receiver core that Justin Arians could go to and be the go to guy. And tonight for me, that is KW Williams. 6'1, 207 pounder. Again, looks the part, plays that inside slot. Receiver well, not afraid to go over the middles, made some big catches tonight. They signed a whole state team, by the way. They get a bit of a breather next week. Shadron State, then Sacramento State after an open week. But, but then they get in the, the heart of Big Sky play by taking on Eastern Washington Boom. on October 4th. And we saw Eastern Washington push. The Washington Huskies today to the end. Well, I know the score right now is not reflective, and the guys are going to look back on it and say, hey, you know, we didn't accomplish what we wanted to do, which was go on the road, and they haven't won on the road since 2006. But there's some things in this game that you're going to be able to take away and are going to contribute to the growth of this football team for Mike Kramer. They just got to focus on those and continue to do it day by day, week by week play by play and some of the little things that have been mistakes for them have come from their young players too and that, that's just going to take time yeah 235 left Utah State with another crack at it you know I know we were chuckling about a little bit earlier in the game about Mike Kramer and overseeing special teams but there's a very prideful coach there and I can promise you he will get that part of the game tightened up for the Bengals down the road. So it, it, in the case of drop passes here and there, defense, a few missed tackles, those things are correctable. I think you're going to see a more competitive Idaho State in the big sky this season. Chucky Keaton's night is done as we get to see Daryl Garrettson, sophomore out of Chandler, Arizona. 
and a quarterback right now. He'll hand it off. And a big run here across midfield and down near the 40-yard line. Goes Jacory Ford, I do believe. Let's see. 28 or 26? 26. Okay. That's Kennedy Williams, who we've seen as a returner tonight. Quick feet, great vision, gets in the open field, turns on the Jets. Tell you what, Utah State's got some running backs. They really do. They're on their fourth one here tonight that we've seen and all have been impressive. Well, they've run with power, they've run with speed, they've run with quickness. They've got good vision on the inside. And a timeout taken here for a substitution for Idaho State. So, you know, you get, you get deep down into that Mountain West schedule as we were looking at it for Utah State, and you're going to have to be able to run the football. And that, I think, is what Matt Wells wants to do first and foremost. We talked about when they carry the ball 40 times a game. They're, they're probably going to win the football game when they – when they rush 40 times a game. I think it'll open up some things play action wise for Chucky Keaton. And that, that's always been the misconception of the Mountain West National. People assume that the Mountain West is, is just a throw it around the yard league. But if you look at the past champions over the years, no matter what the makeup of the league was, it was teams that could run the football. Boise could run the football. Nevada could run the football. TCU could run the football. Utah ran the football. That's a great point. And, uh, and they spun those great passing attacks yes. off that first and foremost. First and 10 now at the 41 yard line after the run. And this time it's Hunt to the 31, close to 10 here. Less than two minutes to go. Again, you look at a guy like Hunt, it, 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 a decisive running back is what you want. You yes. want him to see that hold, put that foot in the ground, and get downfield. You could feel his acceleration when he made his decision. At the 31 yard line, they'll let some of this clock run down, down to a minute 43 to go. Utah State's going to improve to one and one on the season. Garrettson hands it off here, Williams. And a Williams, another big chunk here for about nine. You cannot coach quick feet. Yeah. And, and, and those are about the quickest feet that I have seen tonight on the football field. That was an outstanding job. When he got out to the edge and then decided I'm going downhill, those feet were moving. He was gone. This quarterback right now, sophomore Daryl Garrettson, another one of those with pretty good roots in football. His dad was a wide receiver at San Diego State. By the way, think about sports. His granddad was a longtime NBA referee. Wow. Daryl Garrettson, he can always get tickets. <laughs> Here's a handoff up the middle to Hunt, breaking tackles, and now thrown down. He'll get the first down. As he takes it to the 19-yard line. Devontae Jackson finally brings him down, down to 38 seconds to work with, and a new first down here. We talked about it with Hall and Hill, but Hunt shows right there that you can't bring him down on first contact either. I mean, these Aggie running backs, they run hard on contact, and they do not come down on first contact. See if Utah State tries to run one more play here. Leading at 40 to 20. And down to three on the play clock. I'm not so sure he got it all. He didn't. No. A timeout taken here by Idaho State. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought they'd just kneel on it here, but Matt Wells, I guess, well, now they're lining up in the victory formation. Well, early on, there was some question as to how this night would go. Utah State created a couple of early turnovers, unable to punch it in the end zone. 
We saw this game tied at six apiece at one point. Four field goals between them. But you go back to that 7.30 mark of the yes. second quarter, like Coach Kramer talked about, we hadn't been able to finish. It was about that time that things started to unravel on the Bengals. And there you see Matt Wells, rising star in the coaching ranks, making his way out to shake the hand of Mike Kramer. The veteran at Idaho State. Good win tonight for this Utah State program. And again, as we mentioned, you know, you may not have had all your bullets. You may not have been able to give them your best shot. You may not have had the emotional level that a head coach wants game in and game out. But good programs find a way to overcome all that, and Utah State did. Yeah, you learn a lot about your football team in these first few games of the season. And certainly Utah State bouncing back from a disappointing road trip to Nayland Stadium last week against the Vols. Come in here, play an opponent. They're heavy favorites. We knew that. Ran into some problems here, but we're able to regroup on both sides of the ball, eventually take over, and Matt Wells got to feel good about where they're at heading into next week. Yeah, based on what we see out of these two teams, these two teams going to have some wins ahead of them throughout the year here. 40 to 20, the final score here tonight. Utah State in impressive fashion. They did it with speed. They did it with punch and power. All three phases in the act here tonight for the Utah State Aggies as they win it big here over Idaho State. Get set for a showdown next week. Back here in Logan, they'll get set to take on a very good Wake Forest team. Your final score here tonight. Utah State 40, Idaho State 20. For Ted Sunquist, I'm Brian Estridge. Thanks for watching the Mountain West Network, powered by Campus Insiders.